Let us talk about solubility. Solubility simply means a substance's dissolve ability. Um, and when we look at the words that have to do with solubility, we need to talk about Latin roots because it helps make everything else make a lot more sense. So, solve in Latin means to loosen. So, when you dissolve something, what you are doing is the word dis means apart. So, you're literally loosening apart all of the particles inside of that substance. That's what dissolve means. Solubility means the ability to loosen. So, the, some substances have the ability to loosen the particles inside of them apart within another substance. That is their solubility. A solution is the substance that is the result of the loosening of particles. And a solvent is a substance that can loosen the particles of another substance. So it's all about loosening, taking particles that are crunched together and helping them to spread apart. So when we have a substance in a container here, we're going to call this a solvent. And this is a substance that does the dissolving. It is typically the substance that has the greater quantity between two or more substances that are doing dissolving. A solute is the substance being dissolved. And it is the one with the smaller quantity. Um, it doesn't always have to be. It, solids, liquids, and gases can be dissolved in solids, liquids, and gases. But in this case, we're going to take a solid solute and add it to a liquid solvent to give us a solution, which is a substance, with a solvent that has dissolved a solute or with a solute dissolved in a solvent. Something that has stuff dissolved in it. That's what it is, a solution. So here we have some water, 100 milliliters of it, and I'm going to put some sugar inside. So water is my solvent, sugar is my solute. Mix them together, and I get a solution of sugar water. So if we were to draw this, what would it look like? We would have the water. It's still going to be the same amount of water, but all of that solute, when I put it in there, broke apart, loosened, and spread out, and now it's evenly spread out through that water, and I have a homogeneous mixture of sugar water that you cannot see the sugar separately from the water. It is a solution. One has been dissolved in the other. They're both still there. They just have been spread out and loosened among each other, and you can't see them separately. Now, different solutes will dissolve at different rates in different um, amounts depending on their molecules. So here we have a lovely little solubility curve and it tells us the amount of solute that will dissolve in 100 grams of water. So at zero degrees Celsius, five grams of potassium chlorate will dissolve in 100 milligrams of water. Look, you can see a little red dot down there. But if we go to 100 degrees Celsius, now we're going to get 60 grams of potassium chlorate dissolving in that same 100 grams of water. So this tells us that for potassium chlorate, as the water gets warmer, more potassium chlorate will dissolve. And if you look at the chart on the side, in general, we can see that increasing the temperature of a solvent will allow more solute to dissolve. It's going to increase the solubility for most substances, for most solid substances. Um, gaseous substances are a little bit different. Liquids can be a little bit tricky, um, but that's kind of a general trend based on that chart. Now, most things dissolve in water. We call water the universal solvent. However, some things do not. So because water is a polar molecule, because it's got like hydrogens and oxygens, um, it dissolves polar molecules, and um, nonpolar things won't dissolve very well in it. So understanding what type of substance something is and whether or not it will dissolve um, will help us to understand what kind of solvents that we need to use. So what sol substance a solvent, <laughs> what 
Solvents, a substance dissolves in, help scientists to create cleaners. Cleaners help to dissolve, to loosen messes, to break apart the messes so we can clean them up. For example, oil doesn't clean up super well in water. If you ever try to wash your hands, greasy hands in cold water, it doesn't work very well. But heating it up or using a different substance like soap will help you to dissolve those messes.